Hello, thank you for watching another one of my recipes. Today I'm going to be making a plant caponata. This is something that I've been wanting to make for a very long time. And this reminds me of the years I worked in Italian restaurants and will be a favorite dip. Appetizer or snack? It's really easy to make. Grab a pen and paper and follow along. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a bread knife, a chef's knife, a cast iron skillet, and a pot. You will also need a baking pan, a spoon, and some tongs. The ingredients that you're going to need to make this dish are two eggplants with the skin on at a medium dice, one red onion, medium diced, four stalks of celery, medium diced, one red and green bell pepper diced, and what I did was I actually added in some yellow and some orange to make it look prettier, but you don't have to do that. You can just use red and orange if you would prefer. One tablespoon of garlic that's been minced, four Roma tomatoes at a medium dice, one cup of black and green olives that's been pitted and chop them up, two tablespoons of capers, four tablespoons or one quarter cup of red wine vinegar, one half teaspoon of sea salt, three tablespoons of pine nuts, a pinch of red pepper flakes, quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, and then you may need more to taste, fresh basil, and we're going to need about two tablespoons of this, and we're going to ship and knot it, some really good extra virgin olive oil, a nice baguette, or good crusty bread and also some cheap olive oil that we're going to use to cook the ingredients together. So now that you know what ingredients that we need, go ahead and get them. I'll wait for you. Come back and we'll start cooking this. So I'll meet you over at the stove when you're ready to go. I have my cast iron skillet nice and hot. First thing I'm going to do is dry roast the pine nuts and I want to toast these just a little bit. I want to bring out the oils and the pine nuts Give them just a little bit of a brown. This will give them a nice little nutty flavor and wake them up. Put these back in the container and we'll set these aside. Next, I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of the cooking extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm gonna add the red onion. I'm gonna cook the red onion until it starts to turn translucent. Next, I'm gonna add the celery. I'm gonna cook the celery until it starts to soften, which will be about five minutes. Now I'm going to add the peppers. Now I'm going to add the garlic and I'm going to give it a little running start. Now that everything is nice and cooked off, I'm going to transfer this into my big pot. Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of the cooking olive oil. I'm going to cook the tomatoes for a few minutes until they break down. The tomatoes are broken down. I'm going to add this to my pot as well. Now I'm going to get the pan hot again. Once it's nice and hot, we'll add a few more tablespoons of olive oil and fry our eggplant. Test to see if the oil is hot enough. Dip a corner of a piece of eggplant in, and if you see it bubble, then that means the oil is hot. Do this in batches. I'm going to fry the eggplant for probably about 10 minutes. I'm looking for the eggplant to be soft and golden brown. Now I'm going to set my cast iron skillet aside, put my pot on the heat, let this warm up. While this is warming up, I'm going to add the half teaspoon of sea salt, a pinch of red pepper flakes, and the quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Give this a good mix. Next I'll add the olives, and that's one cup of black and green olives that I have given a rough chop, and the quarter cup red wine vinegar. Now I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes, and while this is cooking, I will chiffonade a couple of tablespoons of fresh basil. I've let this cook for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of capers, two tablespoons of chiffonaded basil, and two of the three tablespoons of the toasted pine nuts. Give this a good mix. Now I'm gonna let this cook for two minutes. It's been two minutes. I'm gonna give this a taste, see how everything tastes. I actually think it needs a little bit more black pepper. Give this a mix, taste it again, it's a lot better. I'm going to cover this with the lid, let this sit for 10 or 20 minutes, and then I'll put it in the refrigerator and let all the ingredients marry together overnight. So I will see you in the morning. Hello everyone, I'm going to go ahead and make some toast points now. First thing you want to do is put your oven on the broil setting, and I've got a nice good 
crusty baguette. And I'm gonna cut this with my bread knife on a bias. And I want them to be about that thick. Have my toast points cut. I'm gonna take some of my fancy extra virgin olive oil, put it on a plate. And I'm gonna barely dip the bread into the extra virgin olive oil, just so it's just barely coated. And I'm just gonna do one side. Now I'm gonna put these in the oven and toast them so they are just barely light brown. The eggplant caponata has rested overnight. I have my toast points done, so let's go ahead and serve this. I'm gonna garnish this with the remainder of the toasted pine nuts and the remainder of the fresh basil that I should have knotted. And this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I wanna thank you very much for watching another one of my recipes. Please like and share this with your friends and family. Consider buying me a coffee or a beer. You can find out how by going to tfvc.org forward slash donate. Don't forget to follow me on your favorite social media site. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.